in this video I will talk about the running away behavior or as it is known in ABA terms eloping in children with autism. What are the main characteristics of the behavior and why does it occur in children with ASD? Last, I will provide some possible strategies for managing the running away behavior. So, what is running away behavior in children with ASD? Running away behavior can look different from person to person and because of this, the definition of this behavior will include and look different based on each individual child. A general definition of this behavior is the tendency of the child to leave an area without the adult's permission, eloping or wandering away from caregivers or safe environment without regards for their own safety. For example, the child walks next to the parent. The child moves away from the parent fast in an unknown direction to the parent. There are multiple reasons why a child with ASD would engage in running away behavior. Here are some of them. First, sensory overload. Children with ASD often experience sensory sensitivities or overstimulation, which can lead to anxiety and the desire to escape overwhelming environments. They may run away to find a calmer and more predictable environment. Second, communication challenges. ASD can affect a child's ability to communicate effectively leading to frustrations and difficulty expressing their needs or desires. Running away may be a way for them to seek attention or communicate their desires. Third, fixations or special interests. Some children with ASD may have intense fixations or special interests. If they become fixated on a particular object or topic and are driven by a strong desire to explore or interact with it, they may run away to pursue their interests. Four, desire for independence. Like any child, those with ASD may have a natural inclination for independence and autonomy. Running away can be an expression of their desire to explore their surrounding or exert their independence, even if they do not fully comprehend the potential consequences. Fifth and last, anxiety or fear. Children with ASD may experience high levels of anxiety or fear related to specific situations or triggers. Running away could be a coping mechanism to escape perceived threats or overwhelming situations. Understanding the specific triggers, needs and challenges of the child with ASD is crucial in addressing and managing running away behavior. Here are some general guidelines on how to manage the running away behavior. First, Teach functional communication. Teach the child an alternative, appropriate way to communicate their needs or desires. For example, teach the child to use a picture exchange system or a communication device to request a break or express discomfort instead of engaging in escape behaviors. Second, differentially reinforce alternative behavior. Reinforce behavior that is incompatible with escape behavior while withholding a reinforcer for the escape behavior. For example, when the child asks for a break using their communication system, provide a brief break or engage in a preferred activity. However, if they engage in escape behavior without using the appropriate communication, do not provide the break. 
for response cost. Remove a specific reinforcer or privilege following the escape behavior. For example, if the child engages in escape behavior during a task or instruction, temporarily remove the access to a preferred item or activity that they enjoy, such as favorite toys or games. Fourth, block and redirect. When the child tries to use escape behavior by throwing items or bolting, block the behavior and redirect back to the task. This is called follow through. For example, if the child starts engaging in escape behavior, running from the room when you are asking them to clean up the toy, you will run after the child and you will guide the child back to the room, repeat the demand, which is clean up, and hand over hand, or by gesturing, you will insist on completing the task of cleaning up. Fifth, task modification. Break tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This way the child will get access to the reinforcer more often and will not try to run away from you or from the task that you are asking them to complete. Use visual support such as visual schedule, checklist or timers to provide a clear understanding of expectations and to help the child anticipate breaks or preferred activities after completing a task. Sixth, choice making opportunities. Offer the child choices within structured activities to provide a sense of control. For example, allow them to choose between two preferred activities or decide on the order of the task they need to complete. Seven, use visual supports. Visual supports can aid in providing clear instructions and visual cues for the child. Visual schedules, timers, and first then board can be used to illustrate the sequence of activities, expected behaviors, and the duration of the task. Eight and last, extinction and alternative behavior. Completely ignore and refrain from providing any reinforcement for escape behavior, ensuring consistency. For example, if the child tries to escape from a task or instruction such as put the shoes away, continue providing the task or the instruction without giving in to their escape attempts. That means you will occasionally repeat the demand, put the shoes away. You will use your body to block the bolting behavior or ignoring any protesting behaviors. And at the same time, redirect to an alternative behavior, something creative and fun that will lead to the completion of the task in an enjoyable way. You can ask the kid to help you park the cars in the garage. The cars can be the shoes and the garage can be the shoe drawers. I hope this video helped you understand what eloping or running away behavior is, its main characteristics and how to manage it. If you have any questions, make sure you type them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.